Okay, in this presentation, I want to do something a little bit lazy. I want to reproduce this table that's in a textbook. And I don't want to type it all out. I want to do it very quickly with R. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just copy and paste out all the numbers. So, Control C. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go to R. So, I have R written here. I'm going to call this data set times because that's actually what the data set is about. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan, use the scan command to input all of these numbers quickly. So what I do is actually just write scan in with no additional argument. There we go. And now I'm going to press control V to paste them all in. There we go. So there, that has them all read in. Okay. So just let's have a look at times. Now that's close. That's very close, but it's not what we need yet. So we're not out of the woods yet. So this is where uh, using matrices comes in very useful. So what I'm going to do is set it up as a matrix, okay? With n call equals 3. Now let's just have a look at that. Seems to be good. It seems to be good. But let's just compare back to the original data set. It seems to be good, but it's not good. The top row should be 20, 28, 20, 26, 26, and 19 for the second row. That's not what we have here. 20, 27, 19, 28, 22, 24. That's not what we have. Now, this is what happens with R. R actually aligns, uh, assigns them in by column. So actually what should be the first row is actually the first three values of the first column. Then the second three values of the second column then just come, the, come in there on lines of four, five, and six. So what we have to do here, I'm just going to clear the screen, is put in the additional argument by row equals true. Now there's a couple of other different ways we can do this actually. There's a couple little variations of what I have there, but it works. Yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna save that as a data frame. So times data frame. You can do this in two steps if you want, actually. But there's essentially just converting the matrix into a data frame. Um, that's very good actually. The only thing I want here is to get, I want to change the column names. So call names is of at uh, times is A, B, oops, and C. So let's see if that works. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Now, the next thing I want to do is export this as a CSV file. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to clear the screen there. Write CSV times, and I'm going to call this CSV file mixing times. Dot CSV. Now that will appear in my home directory. Okay. Now there's an important thing actually I want for not to happen. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it there for a second. So that actually is in my home directory. But this is something I do want to draw attention to. When I, you can actually check this when you run that last command. It actually will give all of these indices on the columns, print them out also. And that's something I don't want. I just want columns A, B, and C. I don't want the spare column index. So what, I, what do I do there? Now, uh, what I could do is I could go to the help file for R. So what do we do? Well, we can go help write dot CSV. Okay. Or alternatively, I'm just going to comment that out so you can see the alternative. Uh, question mark write dot CSV. So this brings up a help file there. So hopefully you should be able to read that there very carefully. Now this is important actually. Write table is the fundamental command. So write CSV is just based on write table. And what we're looking at here particularly is the row names. This is important actually because it is actually a column so it's a little bit counterintuitive sometimes 
that those indices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down the side are actually called the row names. Okay, and the setting here is row names equals uh, row dot names equals true. We want it to be false. Okay, so let's just go back here. Let's just uh, see. Actually, I actually just wrote this in accidentally. This will actually not work because this is a reflex. You think in columns, it's along the column, column names. That's actually not what it is. I should have written in here row names. That was just a bit of code I had lying around. And I accidentally typed it in because I just wasn't thinking. Because what the that column is row names. So um, that it seems to be the job done. So what I could do here is go to list files. I'm not going to go into, there's loads of stuff there, so it's not worth it you can just take my word for it that it is in there somewhere okay that write.csv and that it is now available for use in fact what i could do actually is see if i can get it back out uh m t t you just change that yeah mt works perfectly okay now this these row names here are not uh, from the mixing time CSV file. They're actually in R itself. Okay, they're put in by R just to guide the eye when you are reading, but they're not part of the CSV file. Okay, so we leave it there.